the Global Users and Copernicus Climate Change Service made showcases that serve as inspirational examples on using global climate data. Here is the right to bounce forward. I am Guillermo Grau from ISATSAT, and we are working with Oxfam, an NGO in the development sector. We need climate change information to determine the long-term suitability of crop varieties that are currently used in developing countries, especially for those farmers, which are typically small-scale, that don't have access to irrigation techniques. The CDS provides a one-stop shop for quality-assured data on climate. It has a toolbox where users can access and process data in one place. All CDS data and applications can be used by anyone for any purpose and can be reached from the C3S website climate.copernicus.eu. We used Copernicus Climate Change Global Impact Service to carry out a long-term suitability simulation for several staple crops, for instance maize or dry beans, under climate change conditions. In the words of Oxfam, site-specific climate change impact indicators are a key resource for agricultural management and disaster risk reduction, informing decisions on seeding dates, choice of species and varieties, and actions on soil and water. We use bias-corrected air temperature and precipitation projections, as well as phenological information on the selected crops, to simulate plant growth in several regions, including the Sahel in Africa and the Dry Corridor in Central America. We found a significant impact as early as 2050 for some critical crops in the Sahel, such as corn and sorghum. This is particularly important to know for Oxfam in order to raise awareness on the upcoming problems and to start thinking collectively about possible solutions. Now, Oxfam has a new tool to help communities as well as local and regional authorities to improve agricultural planning. For more information, please visit the webpage where you can be inspired by other showcases, explore and download climate impact indicators and seasonal forecasts, and learn how to use and interpret the data. Thank you for watching.